Hello everyone and hello again YouTube. This is Mia from EOS Marketplace News and I'm back uh, for another article featured on today's newsletter at preferredcurrency.news. But um, before we start, just a quick reminder that we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding the information we provide for you to make decisions for yourself. Now, this channel, EOS Marketplace News, and the website preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. Alright, so let's go to the second article featured today, which is about here. Accenture Tech Now connects Corda, Fabric, DA, and Corum blockchains. Now, enterprise blockchain customers might not need to worry any longer about having picked the wrong platform to build on, thanks to a new interoperability solution being unveiled by Accenture. Revealed at the annual Cybos conference on Monday, the consulting giant has created an interoperability node which it says can house the business logic of different platforms. In other words, the rules which allow them to perform various tasks. According to Accenture, the interoperability node can connect the four major enterprise platforms, Hyperledger Fabric, R3 Scorda, Quorum developed by Global Bank JP Morgan Chase, and Digital Asset. David Treat, the global blockchain lead at Accenture, said the first bridging of blockchains was done between Hyperledger Fabric and Corum, and then the same architecture was applied to connecting R3 Corda and DA. The interoperability node provides lines of communication between two or more distributed ledger technology platforms and includes embedded business logic that contains standards policies, and guidelines by which the different blockchain platforms have agreed to work together. He said, quoting, we build the first prototype of an interoperability node to sit in between Fabric and Corum and got it to work. We have now built one that integrates Corda and DA, three told Coindesk. But these are two examples built of the same solution pattern. It would work on any combination of the four. Driving demand for this sort of connector, Accenture is now be or is now seeing the first use cases, supply chain, trade finance, insurance, and so much more, which have been processing on one platform where clients are interested in the ability to work with another ecosystem on a different platform. Coating as an example, a supply chain ecosystem that's developing on one platform that works with a trade finance ecosystem that's on another or a different one. End quote said Treat. He would not name these projects, explaining they are not ready to announce that yet. It's coming later. Accounting for differences. But these enterprise blockchains are not made equal. Some have performed better than others in side-by-side -side tests, for example. So, the new ecosystem can account for different latency in consensus, said Treat, who sits on the boards of both Hyperledger and the Enterprise Ethereum Alliance. Quoting, if one ecosystem's DLT platform runs significantly faster or differently than the other, then part of the logic in the interoperability node is to decide how to treat that, end quote. A transaction that's relevant for both platforms could mean the two ecosystems agreed to wait via some kind of pending state to allow the other one to catch up. He said, Further, Taz said that the strict limits on data sharing on R3's Corda platform, for instance, could still be harmonized with another blockchain where data is more widely broadcast. Quoting, it doesn't matter that R3 uses a different data structure because we are applying the logic in the interoperability node that triggers the use of native DLT system 
capabilities about how they treat either tokenized assets, reference data, or shared data, end quote, he said. In terms of the overall performance of the new solution, Treat said the initial working version used a single interoperability node that obviously introduced constraints in terms of what could be processed. Quoting, on our development pathway, we are exploring the ability to have multiple interoperability nodes to share and spread the load, and also a version that could not or would not require a single interoperability node at all but actually just simply be a part of the small contract logic that any node can run, and quote, he added. Richard Gendel brown Chief Technology Officer at R3, said interoperability is key to avoiding the trapped assets and silos of the past. Quoting, we made specific design choices when building Corda to ensure that applications built on our platform can interoperate without friction. Brown said, the successful testing of these technology solutions is a significant step forward for blockchain development and validates our approach. All right, guys, so that is the second article featured on our newsletter today at preferredcurrency.news. Now, if you want to have this newsletter directly sent to your email, you can always subscribe by going to the website preferredcurrency.news, then scroll down and click the link PayPal, where you can pay 15 US dollars per month on a recurring basis, or you can pay at Coinbase for only $180 per year with your favorite crypto handled by Coinbase. And after you do that, you start receiving newsletter in your email every day. That's 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube. All right. And okay, so here is what our newsletter looks like. So this is what you'll be receiving every day in your email as soon as you subscribe. And here are the three articles that we have featured every uh, on today. And we also have um, the newsletter rather has links on websites um, that is um, that would be helpful for you guys. Now, one website that we have is uh, the eosauthority.com slash alerts. Now, it is a great website where you can get alerts on your EOS account like um, incoming or outgoing transfers, changes or additions to the keys, airdrops sent to the account, actions authorized by the account, or any ECAV arbitration notices. Also, you can learn more about alerts in the FAQs here below. Like, do you require keys or is, there a, um, is the service free? And what kind of alerts can one expect? Right. Also, um, EOS Authority performs as a block producer where it deals professionally with technical matters or issues of arbitration and governance. Right. Again, guys, if you want to receive alerts on your account, transactions on your account, simply go to eosauthority.com slash alerts and type in your account name and your email address to get notified all right also here on our newsletter you can get the Lee, um, eos marketplace news from the experts here and also you can advertise what you have for sale in exchange for eos and also what you would like to buy at the website here eos authority or eos marketplace dot news Right, so um, if you have any vacation, rentals, real estates, boats, or services available in exchange for EOS, you can uh, post them here on this website. Now, don't you worry. The sheet is very accessible and it does not require any membership fee. All you need to do is type in the item that you want to sell under the category, general category on column B. Um, the description of the item that you want to sell under column C. 
any website or link for the description of the item like photos or images on column F and of course your contact information such as your email address and your phone number okay again guys this is EOS marketplace news and here at marketplace.pcn.today you can place your additional listings you can also submit your advertisements here now here on marketplace.pcn.today we'll show you different types of categories for your um, advertisements like um, automotive electronics jobs pets and animals restaurants and cafe and other services also in this website um, is an advertisement section where um, you can see the advertisements on two um, on two types of list view one is uh, the grid view and the other one is the list view now also in this section will show different types of ads like um, the latest ads popular ads random ads and featured ads will be shown here also the website has an ads location section where uh, you can add your additional or desired locations um, and there is no limit for the location so you can do it as you would like to again guys to place your additional listings you can go here at marketplace.pcn.today also um, you can sign up at pro.coinbase.com to, uh, to change some US dollars into Bitcoin so that you can then transfer that Bitcoin to the Binance exchange so that you can change your Bitcoin into EOS if you wish so here is the website pro.coinbase.com now uh, Coinbase Pro offers individuals the ability to trade a variety of digital assets on a secure insurance backed platform now so here this is what the website looks like now coinbase pro is the best digital place to trade digital currency now also coinbase pro offers an in intuitive um, interface with real-time order books charting tools trade history and a simple order process so you can trade from day one right here again guys to trade some US dollars into Bitcoin you can go to pro.coinbase.com and log in if you're already a member or sign up if you're not all right here also, uh, you can download the free EOS Links wallet from Google Play Store or your favorite app store so that you can use EOS most easily. So here, here is the website eoslinks.com where you can download the EOS, the first EOS wallet for Windows for free here. So this is eoslinks.com right and also guys um, you can most easily get an EOS account for only 99 cents simply by choosing the application called EOS links on your Google Play Store or in your App Store all right also guys here the publisher of preferred currency dot news would like to connect with you personally now you can contact Donald the guru through his phone number at 1-801-601-8105 or on WhatsApp at 1-801-471-6939 or on telegram at preferredcurrency.news and our subscribers can follow Donald the guru on Twitter at preferred crypto all right also here on each issue of the newsletter we'll show you uh, Donald's new research list for the day here so here is Donald's list our research list for today where 
it will show you some uh, tokens here. So here on column A is the name of the coin or token. On column B is the dates when appeared on Donald's list. On column C is the original price of each token. On column D is a 24-hour stater price. On column E, 70 days price. Column F, 30 days date price. Column G, 24 hours percent up or down. Now take note, the red ones have negative news and the green ones have positive news. Okay. So let's go to the date today. Let's just click the arrow down here and sort sheet Z to A here. So this is Donald's analysis for today on some tokens here. And here is the original price of each token. And tomorrow, Donald will be updating the sheet so that we can then see if there are some changes on each token, on changes on prices rather. Here. Here. Also here is another spreadsheet. Now this is an analysis for tomorrow, October 24 here now take note that on column a are the names of tokens now the red ones have negative news orange or tan are neutral yellow are fair green have good news and the blue ones shows the best news now the great thing about uh, when you when you subscribe to the newsletter is that you'll be receiving this analysis for free so that you can then monitor um, if you think that um, if it's a good um, chance or opportunity for you to buy or sell crypto here. Now on column B is the US dollar recent price. On column C is the share of total market volume. On column D is the Google searches compared to past 7 days. On column E, 50 candle SMA movement. Column F, number of positive technical indicators. Column G, 24 hours current volume versus price. Column H, 7 days weekly volume versus price. Column I, 30 days monthly volume versus price. And column J is the percent issued. Now guys, also take note that this sheet is not a recommendation for one to buy or sell. But if you decide that you would like some, always consider offering about 20% below the current market price whenever you place buy limit orders. All right. And soon, as soon as you have opened the sheet, you can always make your own copy simply by clicking file and then make a copy so that you can have your own version where uh, you can modify as you wish for your own purposes and research and you can also add columns or personal files or personal notes and information to your own file copy here so here this is my copy of um, the preferred currency dot news for tomorrow and if i want to see which of these tokens has the most number of positive technical indicators I'll just simply click this arrow down here and sort sheet Z to A there. So these are the tokens with the most number of positive technical indicators here. There. All right. Also, on each news letter, um, we'll show you tokens with high volume change interesting technical price action high weekly trade volume and high google search activity there also um you can become an affiliate and earn your crypto each month 
you can invest your time in our affiliate program where you can earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep but please do not post your affiliate link in public forums or comments but do it as private messages only after you chat with a friend or owner of another channel or account now you can simply enroll as an affiliate by going to the website preferredcurrency.news and click the affiliate tab on the upper right corner of the website so that you can become an affiliate um, do your first blog as an affiliate and earn your crypto all right okay so i think that's it guys um, that was for the second article featured on today's newsletter at preferredcurrency.news. Now, I'll be back later on for another one. So, um, just hang in there. This is once again Mia. So, um, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more updates. So, um, I think I'll see you later then.